Today on the show, I talk about every Avenger ever. Hello and welcome to the show with issues. I'm Orem, and I have officially dubbed this week Avengers Week. With Age of Ultron releasing internationally this Friday and Hickman's Avengers series coming to a close today, it only seems right to dedicate a show to Earth's mightiest heroes. I decided I would talk about every freaking Avenger ever, and God knows there's a million of them, so this might be a longer video, but I'll try and keep it as short as possible. Without further ado, let's get started. The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and apparently a club that anyone is allowed into. There have been so many variations of the Avengers with different rosters and even a bunch of offshoot teams that are equally as mighty, so it really is a daunting task to try and name every member, past or present. That being said, I'll probably end up leaving one or two heroes out by accident, so forgive me for that. Anyway, let's go back to the very beginning. 1963. In September of 1963, the first issue of Avengers was released to the world, and in it was their origin, along with the first lineup. The first roster of Avengers consisted of Thor, Hulk, the Wasp, Iron Man, and Ant-Man. Long story short, they teamed up to fight Loki after he mind-controlled Hulk to destroy a railway, and eventually the Wasp suggested the Avengers as their new group's name. Shortly after their formation, the Avengers found Captain America in the ocean and thawed him out. He was granted founder status and quickly took a leadership role in the team. The Avengers operated pretty fluidly for a while until an encounter with with Kang the Conqueror and the Masters of Evil, which left the team tired and worn. The Wasp suggested that they take a leave of absence, to which most of the team agreed. Captain America stuck around, however, and recruited Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver as his new Avengers teammates. Cap became the leader of what would come to be known as Cap's Kooky Quartet. This is where things get complicated. After the Kooky Quartet was formed, the Avengers expanded and minimized throughout the years. This is where I'm going to get less specific, mostly just because if I did go into how each character joined, the video would be extremely long. So that that being said, the first new member to be recruited after Hawkeye, Quicksilver, and Scarlet Witch was Swordsman, who joined in Avengers issue 20. Sometime after this, recruitment really ramped up. Hercules joined in Avengers issue 52, Vision joined in issue 55, Black Knight joined in issue 71, Black Widow joined in issue 111, Mantis joined in Giant Size Avengers issue 4, Beast, Moon Dragon, and Hellcat joined in issue 151, Two Gun Kid joined in 174, Miss Marvel joined in issue 183, Falcon joined in issue 184, Wonder Man joined in issue 194, Tigra joined in issue 211, She-Hulk joined in issue 221, Captain Marvel joined in issue 231, Namor joined in issue 262, Dr. Druid joined in issue 278, The Forgotten One, Mr. Fantastic, and The Invisible Woman shortly joined in issue 300, Quasar joined in issue 305, Cersei joined in issue 314, Stingray joined in issue 319, Spider-Man joined in issue 329, and Crystal and Thunderstrike joined in issue 343. Those are all the recruits from the classic Avengers book, the one that started in 1963. Now for the ones past that. Justice and Firestore joined in Avengers Volume 3 Issue 4, Triathlon joined in Issue 27, Silverclaw joined in Issue 30, Jack of Hearts joined in Issue 38, Ant-Man joined in Issue 57, and Captain Britain joined in Issue 81. These recruits were picked up in the early 2000s and eventually ended up in the Avengers Disassembled event, which, well, disassembled the Avengers. There were a ton of variants and offshoots of the main Avengers team, the earliest probably being the West Coast Avengers. The West Coast Avengers came about when Vision, who was heading the Avengers at the time, petitioned the US government to form another team of heroes on the West Coast. The government agreed, and Vision put Hawkeye in charge of the team. Hawkeye recruited Mockingbird, Iron Man, who was James Rhodes at the time, Wonder Man, and Tigra. After the original team formed, new members were recruited along the way. Tony Stark reclaimed the Iron Man title and joined the team in West Coast Avengers Volume 2, Issue 1. The Thing joined for a very short stint in issue 9, Dr. Pym and Moon Knight joined in issue 21, Firebird joined in West Coast Avengers Annual Issue 2, The Wasp joined in issue 44, The Original Human Torch joined in issue 50, Quicksilver joined in issue 56, Machine Man joined in issue 69, Living Lightning and Spider Woman joined in issue 74, and Darkhawk joined in issue 94. The team was plagued with problems because of the quick changing roster and the fighting within their ranks, so they mutually decided to end the team and join back with the main Avengers team on the East Coast. This definitely wasn't the only other Avengers team though. No, there are a billion more. After the events of Avengers disassembled, a new team of non-traditional Avengers popped up, fittingly named the New Avengers. This team originally consisted of Iron Man, Captain America, Luke Cage, Spider-Woman, and Spider-Man, with Wolverine joining in New Avengers issue 6, Sentry joining in issue 10, and Echo joining in issue 11. This team operated as the main team of Avengers until Civil War hit. After Civil War, the New Avengers had to go underground as it now was made up of a group of unregistered heroes. Iron Man, Cap, and Sentry left the team, while Doctor Strange, Iron Fist, and Ronan immediately joined in New Avengers 
Avengers issue 27. Later, Bucky Barnes, Mockingbird, Captain Marvel, and Spider-Woman all joined in issue 48, and Jessica Jones joined in New Avengers Annual issue 3. After this, the book was relaunched with the inclusion of The Thing in New Avengers Volume 2 issue 1, and Daredevil joining in issue 16. The current New Avengers title, written by Jonathan Hickman, follows the Illuminati, not an actual team of Avengers. The other team that formed after the events of Civil War was the Mighty Avengers, created by Iron Man. This team consisted of registered superheroes and was mostly used as a police force to take down the New Avengers. It was also New York's superhero team, as stated by the 50 State Initiative, which was a program created by Iron Man during Civil War to assign a team of superheroes to each state in the United States. The original team consisted of Iron Man, Miss Marvel, Wonder Man, the Wasp, Black Widow, Sentry, and Ares. Spider-Woman, who was working as a double agent for the New Avengers, registered and joined the Mighty Avengers in issue 7. This team operated for a while, but during the beginning of Dark Reign, Norman Osborn cannibalized the Mighty Avengers and turned them into his Dark Avengers, which I will talk about later. Anyway, in the absence of the original Mighty Avengers, a new team formed thanks to Loki, who was disguised as the Scarlet Witch at the time. Basically, Loki formed the new team to embarrass Osborn because he's Loki and that's what he does. Or used to do, anyway. This new team was made up of the Scarlet Witch, who is Loki, the Wasp, who was Hank Pym at the time, Hercules, Amadeus Cho, and Joe Costa. U.S. Agent Stature and the Second Vision joined in Mighty Avengers issue 22, and Quicksilver joined in issue 24. This team fought for a while, but eventually fizzled out. A new ragtag team of Mighty Avengers formed during the events of Infinity, when the main Avengers were off fighting the good fight in space. This team was formed by Luke Cage and was made up of Blue Marvel, Power Man, Falcon, and She-Hulk. The Superior Spider-Man also decided to declare himself a member of the team and fought with them. This team kept going and eventually got two new recruits, Kalu and Normal Spider-Man. Sam Wilson also joined them as Captain America and took a leadership role. This is the current Mighty Avengers. Yet another offshoot of the Avengers is the Dark Avengers, which I mentioned earlier. The Dark Avengers were a team of mostly supervillains that were disguised as superheroes. This team was assembled by Norman Osborn and consisted of himself as the Iron Patriot, Venom as Spider-Man, Moonstone as Miss Marvel, Bullseye as Hawkeye, Dakin as Wolverine, with Captain Marvel, Ares, and the Sentry. This was the team that Osborn eventually assaulted Asgard with, which resulted in the fall of the group and put the Iron Patriot behind bars. Norman eventually broke out and formed another group of Dark Avengers with Iapake as Spider-Man, Trickshot as Hawkeye, Toxic Doxy as Scarlet Witch, Superior as Miss Marvel, Gorgon as Wolverine, Ragnarok as Thor, and Scar as the Hulk. Seeing as this was a team made up of villains, they eventually disbanded. But wait, there's more. The next group of Avengers I've got is the Young Avengers. The Young Avengers were originally formed by the Second Vision's AI, which activated a protocol that assembled a team of young people related to the members of the Avengers. The original team was made up of Iron Lad, Hulkling, Patriot, Wiccan, Kate Bishop as Hawkeye, and Stature. Shortly after the original six formed, Vision and Speed joined. Later, with a relaunch of the team's book, Kid Loki, Miss America, Marvel Boy, and Prodigy joined. The Young Avengers eventually disbanded and haven't been back together since. After the classic but not classic Age of Marvel, the Heroic Age hit, which was basically a rebrand of comics after Norman Osborn's Dark Reign ended. In the wake of this, a new main Avengers team was finally formed again. This team consisted of Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, Thor, Bucky Barnes as Captain America, and Iron Man, all being led by Maria Hill. Red Hulk eventually joined the team in Avengers Volume 4, Issue 12. This team was pretty much back to basics. The roster was constantly shifting around and eventually ended in the events of Avengers vs. X-Men. After the event, Tony Stark proposed to Steve Rogers that they use Stark's Avengers machine that basically is an algorithm which chose the next set of Avengers recruits. These recruits were Cannonball, Sunspot, Manifold, Shang-Chi, Captain Universe, Smasher, and Hyperion. Around the time of Infinity, Abyss, Ex Nihilo, Nightmask, and Starbrand were all declared Avengers. Around the same time of the formation of that Avengers team was the creation of the Uncanny Avengers, or the Avengers Unity Squad. The Avengers Unity Squad was created by Captain America in an effort to mend relations between mutants and the Avengers after the events of AVX. The original Uncanny Avengers was made up of Cap, Havoc, Rogue, Scarlet Witch, Thor, and Wolverine. Sunfire, Wasp, and Wonder Man joined soon after in issue 4. A new Unity Squad formed after the events of Axis, with Captain Falcon, Doctor Voodoo, Quicksilver, Sabretooth, and Vision as new members with Rogue and Scarlet Witch remaining on the team. One last Avengers offshoot I wanted to mention was the Secret Avengers, which were a Black Ops superhero team formed by Commander Steve Rogers during the Heroic Age. This specialist group consisted of Commander Rogers, Black Widow, Beast, Valkyrie, Moon Knight, Agent 13, War Machine, Ant-Man, and Nova, with Hawkeye, Captain Britain, the original Human Torch, Venom, and Giant Man joining later. Jumping ahead to AVX's aftermath once again, S.H.I.E.L.D. took control of this team and shook the roster up. It added Nick Fury Jr., Phil Coulson, The Hulk, Iron Patriot, and Spider-Woman. So yeah, those are Earth's Mightiest Heroes. There are some I consciously left out, more specifically the new teams formed in the Time Runs Out stuff. I decided against talking about that stuff because most of it is spoilery, and seeing as the finales of that event came out today, I thought it would be a good idea to avoid those groups. Anyway, if I missed any Avengers, feel free to let me know in the comments. Oh, and if you can think of any characters that haven't been Avengers in some way, shape, or form, I'd love to hear about that too. And you can't say the Justice League, because I'm pretty sure they were declared Avengers in one of the crossovers. 
this week is a crazy exciting week for me, mostly because of the specific titles that I'm picking up. I'll be getting eight titles, including Avengers issue 44, Inhuman issue 14, and Silk issue 3. Looking over the rest of my pull list, there's not one title I'm not excited for. Except maybe Convergence, but you never know. Anyway, here's the rest of my list with Marvel and DC stuff as always. And that would be another dang show. This episode took an extremely long time to make, so I would definitely appreciate it if you share it around. Research and writing took around 10 hours, which may not seem like a lot, but for the types of videos I do, it is. I mostly write from the info within my own brain, hence the what's on my mind, but sometimes I have to do some research. Anyway, I won't keep you longer than I already have, and I need to go watch Age of Ultron, so thanks for watching. Next time, I'm an Avenger.